I am Dr. Komal Prasad, Senior Consultant Neurosurgeon and Spinal Surgeon at Narayana Health Mazumdarsha Medical Center, Bangalore. See, people get worried when they get a diagnosis of disc prolapse. So, for various conditions, they would have uh, back pain is very common. So, most of us will have back pain sometime in our lives. And when you get investigated, sometime in this process of evaluation for back pain, you will get a report in MRI which says there are there is a disc prolapse, for example, between L4 and L5. So people get really worried. The general feeling it's quite natural because spine is considered uh, quite a very sensitive area and which is, uh, we are very much dependent on a healthy, sturdy spine. So when they see there's some disc prolapse mentioned in the MRI report, they get scared. They worry whether surgery is required. So what I want to tell you today is that some changes in the disc, intervertebral disc, which is there in everybody's spine, multiple levels, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, cervical and lumbar region, it's quite common to develop. As we age, as we grow, as how does how we get wrinkles in the skin, how our hair grays, like that there will be some changes in the disc. So these changes, sometimes called degenerative changes, age-related changes, when that disc comes out of its normal confines, in case if it touches the nerve on either side or in the center, that is liable to cause some symptoms in the area of distribution of the nerve. Not all such cases in which this compression is there, which a shows with some symptoms like arm pain, leg pain. Not all patients with that problem would require operation. I would say most of them would not require an operation. So better you consult your spinal surgeon to make sure how serious, how important, how critical the compression is. He will be the best person to decide whether you would require any intervention for that or not. Thank you.